Okay, I've got a uh, Samsung Ultrabook here that belongs to my wife, and uh, tonight she noticed that uh, uh, the power uh, supply was not charging the laptop, and uh, when I examined it, um, I noticed that I could wiggle the uh, power cord back and forth a little bit, and it would uh, come on and go back off again as if you were plugging and unplugging the charger. And so, one of the, after I inspected it pretty closely, looked at the uh, uh, little power supply adapter, and it seemed like the pin was awful loose in there. So, I um, decided to take it apart and check that out, and uh, thought I'd make a video while I was doing this. Um, there are uh, 14 screws to take this laptop Hard, at least to take the bottom off and it's probably the easiest laptop I've ever disassembled um, the eight screws uh, there's one here two three four five six seven and eight and you take those eight screws out there's a little panel that goes over the uh, uh, hard drive and the memory and so there's one screw here you have to remove, then you have to take uh, like a real small flathead screwdriver or something and put it under each of these little tabs and gently pry up on it, and this thing will pop right out. <clears throat> Once that comes off, there are six screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. These four screws actually hold in the hard drive, and then uh, this is just simply holding the case on as well as this one and if, uh, if you can see real closely there it says uh, MX uh, 2 times 6 uh, which indicates M, uh, M2 type screws uh, 6 of them so uh, one of the things you want to watch is these 6 screws are a little bit longer than these 8 screws that come out of the bottom of the case now once I had all the screws out of it what I did was I actually used a letter opener. It's a real thin, flat, sturdy object uh, with a sharp edge. Uh, and uh, you have to be real careful around this area for this little Ethernet, uh, this little flap to pull down to plug in an Ethernet patch cord. Uh, this would be a sensitive area to break. So I started right here and got up under the edge and just started to kind of pry up gently and go counterclockwise around the unit and pop loose all the little latches and so Okay, um, on to the actual repair. Um, the uh, plug on the end of the power adapter uh, for the Samsung Ultrabook is very small. The outside diameter is only three millimeters. Um, the only way you can accurately measure something like that is with a uh, micrometer uh, like this. Um, and uh, the way this works turn it on make sure it's zeroed and then uh, you can kind of measure the outside diameter 2.97 so basically three millimeters uh, so I'd say the, the inner pin is really you know, maybe a millimeter at the most um, so every plug I had was a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller three and a half or uh, actually I've got one that's about one and a half millimeter and I uh, didn't have anything laying around to fix this doubt I'll be able to pick one up at Radio Shack and uh, um, so I'm going to improvise a little bit the problem was uh, the little tab that goes down into the center of that for the positive voltage uh, of the adapter uh, ultimately you can kind of see the way through that but ultimately uh, it goes down inside of there it was broken off uh, just from being wiggled back and forth uh, so um, I'm going to improvise. I'm going to come up with a little different little repair. A lot of people ask why I keep 
a lot of little parts around. Um, this little bag of parts right here came out of two old Direct TV remote controls, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, so I keep all the little screws. There's an LED. That's probably an infrared LED. And uh, there's a little E-clip. And some, you see some very, very tiny screws. Uh, these probably small enough to go in a pair of glasses. And uh, and then uh, the screw that I'm going to use. Uh, there's another one here just like it. And um, you'll see the screw is about... Yeah, a little bit less than, it's about nine and a half millimeters long, and uh, the diameter of the threads is um, about two millimeters. So, what I'm actually going to do, uh, you've seen I've done a little bit of prep work. Uh, I took one of those screws, took an ordinary paper clip, uh, just like this one. I twisted it around the head of the screw very tightly with a pair of pliers and gave myself a little tab to solder onto. And then I also soldered onto the screw, so that's very tightly uh, fixed. And then, so what I'm going to do is put that little screw down in the center of that and thread it down in there uh, to make my connection. There's no other way I could, uh, I could have tried to solder that, but what would have happened is it would have melted this plastic piece, um, that the insulator between the positive and negative. And you also notice the reason that I went ahead and soldered the wire on and everything here is also the same uh, thing. If I had not done that, if I'd have put the screw down in there first, then tried to solder it, it would have uh, melted the little black insulator. So I'm going to put this together um, and uh, solder uh, the ground wire on the outside piece and uh, go ahead and hook it up and we'll be back shortly to, to show you the results and see how my repair turned out. Alright, so we have the uh, finished product here. Uh, you can see I've got the screw tapped down into the center and uh, the ground uh, or negative side of the voltage soldered to the uh, outside part of the pin. And uh, I've got it spliced in and soldered and taped up. Um, and uh, we'll plug it in here. And voila, uh, everything's working fine. Yeah, when I wiggle the pin, there's no uh, loss of connectivity, which means the uh, plug was definitely bad. Um, as you can see, uh, what I'm going to have to do here uh, is very carefully tape that up. And um, I'm not sure how I'm going to uh, secure that. I might uh, see if I can take a little plastic uh, tube. Uh, uh, really needs to probably some heat shrink tubing, but maybe a... Uh, a small ink pen or something and, and fashion a little cover for that and tape it on real good uh, to, to hold the, the pen out straight so that it doesn't uh, break off. Uh, in the meantime, while I order a couple replacement power supplies, um, this little repair, you know, this will end up being a spare power supply that she can leave at her desk and plug it in uh, and uh, you know, save maybe 50 bucks or so um, on uh, extra power supply. Uh, and most importantly, this weekend, she'll be able to charge her laptop and will be a happy wife. Thanks for watching.